The two building blocks of uh, classical bar chart analysis are trends and patterns. Trends are the really finding a trend, enjoying a trend, and getting out before it closes is the is the goal of every trader or investor. We have a particular way of looking at trends and defining trends, defining when they've, when they've started and defining when they've closed, so we can be quite precise. The uh, Where trend starts is by um, a previous high being over, uh, 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 a previous high, any previous high in, in a market being overcome, the market coming down and bouncing off that previous high. Trends proceed by markets finding previous highs to be good support and bouncing off them and therefore starting a new bull leg. So it's like a ratchet effect. The market goes up, comes down, it breaks through the previous high, comes down and bounces off, off that previous high and then we have the market ratcheting higher. The general definition of higher, higher highs and higher, higher lows is of course right. But inside that there is this specific uh, test, which is do the previous highs, high retracement, pullback, bounce off the high, are the previous highs good support? If they are, the trend is in place. So the common definition of higher lows creates a diagonal called the trend, li uh, trend line support, but the more important of the two criteria for whether a, a, a trend is in place is the horizontal from prior highs. Are they intact? Horizontals matter more than diagonals because diagonals as support are weaker because they're extrapolations of where the market found support lower down. If these are the lows in the market and they have a diagonal formed from the lows up here, the market comes down to a tested diagonal. It's an extrapolation from where the market found support, whereas the horizontal from the prior high is an actual level and therefore has primacy. Trading is as simple as following trends. But that just begs the serious questions of when has the trend started? So you can, can you get in early enough? When does the trend break down? Can you get out early enough? And if you can get in earlier than you can get out, then you're making money. If the risk you took to do that are commensurate with the money you've made, then you're a good trader. I should perhaps talk a little more detail about the, the two structural, uh, critical structural aspects of a trend, the horizontals and the diagonals. I've already s described how, why I think horizontals are more important, because they're actually traded levels, uh, whereas diagonals are extrapolations. But there are subtleties associated with working out which is more important, a horizontal or a diagonal. For example, the more points by which a diagonal has been created, historically, if there are dozens of points and the line is very clearly drawn through them, the more powerful the diagonal. The uh, the, the, the longer the, fur, the longer ago that the, that the prior high was uh, formed, the more powerful the horizontal. Ironically, a, 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 a prior high from two years ago, if the market breaks that and pulls back, that's much more important than a prior high of three days ago. So there are niceties and subtleties about working out the, um, the relative strengths of your diagonals and horizontals, but basically um, horizontals matter more than diagonals, they both matter. When both are broken, you may be sure the, bro the trend is broken down. When the horizontal is broken but not the diagonal, it is under threat. When the diagonal is broken but not the horizontal, in general terms, uh, it is under rather less threat. The ancillary pieces of evidence that bar chartists look for are volume and open interest and they are supporting evidence, not primary evidence, of whether a market's um, going one way or another. And the general rule is that volume and open interest follow the trend. Therefore, when volume and interest go up, uh, then uh, when the market's moving with the main trend, that is a good move and the solid reinforcing the existence of the trend. When the market moves against the trend and volume and open interest fall, that just suggests retracement in, and the primary trend is still in place. When a trend is broken, these are critical moments, a test, and a confirming test of whether the break is a good break is that if volume and interest increase on the apparent break through the price a diagonal or horizontal price levels, watching volume and open interest will confirm the break to be a good one or not. 
If volume falls on the break, it's not a good trade, uh, not a good move. If volume rises, it tends to be a good move. With all these ways of understanding markets, it's really important in order to make money from them, it's very important to know when, to, when they work and when they don't. What are the strengths and weaknesses of every sort of way of looking at the market? In bar charting, there are strengths and there are weaknesses. The strengths are simplicity and clarity. The weaknesses are, in some markets, charting simply won't, bar charting simply won't work. In markets of great illiquidity, they won't work. It won't work. You'll get false signals. Um, Uh, a market that is very uh, the the conditions for successful charting do depend upon liquidity. They do depend upon uh, a great number of individual players. They do depend upon the players all acting independently, as opposed to um, uh, with a lemming-like mentality of in infected by uh, over emotional activity. That's not to say, because as we know, markets are nothing if not psychological constructs, that panicking markets, you need to abandon charts altogether. But it does mean to say that the very short-term signals may not work. And typically, you need to look broaden your horizons, look stand, stand further and further back from a market that's infected by a herd mentality, and you look for larger, uh, larger, clearer signals from way back. The point about trends is that if you can get in early enough and get out early enough, you make money. Getting out early enough is the trend breakdown, which, as we've discussed, is to do with whether the horizontals and diagonals are, are broken, whether it's done in good volume and good open, and, and, and rising open interest. That's a clear signal. When trends, far less uh, time is spent wondering if a trend, when exactly a trend has started, to get in early enough, I, in my experience. And I think it's good to formalize it uh, in the way that we have, in this particular way of looking at classical bar charting, by w looking for a market, making a high, pulling back, going through the high, that's the first. So that high should act as good support coming down. And does, is that good support manifest on a pullback to find, and then the market go ahead? So it is that simple uh, establishment of horiz good horizontal support rather than rising, rising uh, lows that I think is a good solid, um, in addition to like rising lows, that gives a good trigger for the beginning of a trend. If you apply quite precise rules of trend definition, then it's not that it helps a great deal to spot apparent trends from real trends.